Hey guys, we are in our numerical problems in geology video series and this video will be the class 2 in this series and the topic is the economical geology and the questions are from previous year that is from JAM as well as from GATE and if you want to search our videos in YouTube you can use the hashtag geomath and if there are lots of videos and you want to find our videos exclusively you can also add the hashtag success guru welcome to my channel success guru and myself Panchanadam and let's get into the heading the very first question is from jam 2018 and that is also from part c and the question number is 53 600 tons of low grade iron ore are blended with 400 tons of high grade iron ore the grade of the blended ore is dash the answer is in one decimal place so before answering the question let us discuss about the heading blending the process of mixing of high grade ore and a low grade ore to achieve a desirable quantity as well as quality of the ore is called as blending. Generally this will be done when the required amount of the volume of ore is higher and the available amount of volume of the ore is lower. This could be done. So what they will do is they will mix the high grade ore and a low grade ore and they will get an average between these two grades and they will be calculating the average grade of the ore that what we will get after blending these two grades of ore. So the question what they have given is the grade of the individual ore and the weight in tons and what they are asked for is the grade of the blended ore. So let us solve this question and the formula for the grade of the ore is equal to mass of the ore mineral present by total mass of the ore deposit into 100 as the, question, as the answer is in percentage. So what they are given is the mass of iron present in a low grade ore is 0.4 as it is in percentage we have to divide it by 100 and the tonnage what the tons what they are given is 600 so the answer is 240 tons and the mass of the high grade ore is 0.65 into 400 so the answer is 260 tons so the grade of the blended ore is equal to the mass of the ore mineral present that is 240 plus 260 by the total mass of the ore that is uh, available that is say 600 plus 400. So the answer is say 6 to 500 by 1000 into 100. So that is 50 percentage. The grade of the blended ore is 50 percentage. So the actual grade of the resultant ore is average between these two and the volume of the ore has been increased. So that is the result of the blending. So the second type of question is from JAM 2019. That is from section C in the question number 55. A tabular ore body of say 9 km square area and an average thickness of 9 meter have a density of 3000 kg per meter cube. The tonnage of the ore body is dash. So let us discuss that fact uh, term tonnage factor. The tonnage factor provides the mechanism for the conservation sorry conversion from volume to the volume of the ore to the weight of the ore. So what we can find from the tonnage factor is we can calculate the amount of metal content that is present in the overall ore body. So that is what the tonnage factor is. And in the question what they had given is the area, average height of the ore body and the density of the ore body. And what they had asked for is the tonnage of the ore body. So solving this question we have to find out the volume of the ore body that is the very first step and as you know the volume is equal to area into height that is here the average thickness so by substituting the value what we will get is 81 into 10 power 6 meter cube as the area is in 9 kilometer square we have to convert it into meter as the thickness in 9 meter so 1 meter square is equal to 10 power 6 meter square sorry 1 kilometer square is equal to 10 power 6 meter square so what we will do is we will convert it and what the answer is 81 into 10 power 6 meter cube. So that is the volume of the ore body. And what they are asked for is the tonnage of the ore body. As you know tonnage is equal to density into volume. And the density is given as 3000 kilogram per meter cube. And the volume is say 81 into 10 power 6 uh, meter cube. As the meter cube and meter cube get cancelled. The answer is 243 into 10 power 9 kilogram. And the answer is asked in the million tons so we had converted so as you know 10 uh, thousand kilogram is equal to 1 ton and 10 power 6 is equal to 1 million so what you will get is 243 million tons 
so the tonnage of the war body is 243 million tons so this is how it has been calculated so the next question uh, the metal content of an ore having specific gravity and assay value of 2.86 and 1.49 percentage respectively in a mining block of 40 meter long 30 meter wide and an average thickness of 2.13 meter so let us see the term metal content the metal content of an ore is the quantity of the particular metal that can be extracted from that of the ore body so the metal content simply implies the tonnage factor so the both are nearly same so you will be doing a nearly same calculation uh, but a little bit different that is what we are going to see so in the question what they are given is specific gravity of the metal assay value of the metal length breadth and width of the mining block and what they are asked for is the metal content of the ore. So to so having trouble in understanding geology concept, looking for one-to-one -one virtual class environment, then you are in the right place. Geologyassignmentsupport.com is here to help you in your studies. We have an expert team in all branches of geology, with doctorate and eight plus years of teaching experience. We are ready to help you in your studies. For more details, check our website. Link is in the description. So to solve this, there are three steps involved. The very first step is we have to calculate the density of the metal. So what they are given is the specific gravity of the metal, but we have to find out the density. And the specific gravity is equal to density of the substance by density of the water. So the specific gravity of the O that is given is 2.86 and the average density of water is say 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So therefore, what we get in density as by cross multiplying what we will get is 2860 kilogram per meter cube. So this is the density of the metal. So we have to calculate that from the specific gravity that is given. The next step is finding out the mass of the ore body. Where as you know mass is equal to density into volume. So we will be substituting the value density that is 2860 kilogram per meter cube. And the volume is in say length, breadth and thickness that is 40 into 30 into 2.13. So this will become say meter cube that is volume is in terms of meter cube. So the meter cube and meter cube get cancelled. So the mass of the ore body is 73,000 sorry 73 lakhs 10,160 kg so we can convert the kg into tons as you know 1000 kg is equal to 1 ton so the answer is 7310.16 tons that is the mass of the ore body but what they are asked for is the metal content of the ore body so the metal content of the ore body is equal to assay value into mass of the ore so by as you know the assay value the quantity of the ore's valuable content that is generally expressed in terms of percentage. In the question they are given as 1.49 percentage. So that we divide by 100 what we will get is 0 0.0149 and the mass of the ore is 7310.6 tons. So the answer is 108.92 tons. So the metal content of the ore is equal to 108.92 tons. So this is what the answer and the question is from say gate 2014 part B. The next question is from gate 2019 that is from part B question number is 52 for producing 1 kg of gold from an ore body having an assay of uh, 2 ppm dash kilograms of the ore needed to be processed so this is what the question so in this question what they had given is the assay value and uh, what they are asked is the amount of uh, ore that is required to be processed and the assay value is in 2 ppm that is parts per million that is if you separate 1 million grains there will be 2 grain of gold in that that is what it implies so let us solve this question so the mass of the desired AU is equal to assay value of the AU into mass of the ore to be processed and the mass of the desired AU is given as 1 kilogram and the assay value is given as 2 ppm and we have to find out the ore to be processed so we have to cross multiply it and what we will get is the ore to be processed is equal to 1 kg of gold by 2 into 10 power minus 6. As we know the million implies 10 power 6 as it is parts per million. So that is 10 power minus 6. So the answer is what we will get is 503 kilogram. So answer what we have to write is 500 as the 10 power 3 kilogram 
is given in the question itself so what we have to mention is 500 that's it so these are the few types of question in this heading and if you find any question which may be different from the above mentioned type you can feel you can just uh, discuss with us in the comment section we will do a separate video for that uh, if that is uh, if these are the simple questions there are actually four types of question in this heading that we had already solved so i think this is sufficient for this heading that is the economic geology i group my videos according to the category that you can check in my playlist you can connect with us by mail facebook and instagram and these are the links you can support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day